I was so excited for the new Hellboy movie when I heard that it was coming out. And... I was slightly disappointed by this movie. That's not to say that it's bad if what you want is a fun, gory, B-movie action type film. But if you're looking for a entertaining because Hellboy the comics are entertaining film, that's not what this is, unfortunately. I have a couple of major problems with this movie. The biggest ones are going to end up being the pacing, the CGI, and just some of the character interactions. I don't know. To start, the big one for me, the pacing of the film. The film is paced, in my opinion, almost perfectly for the first about hour of the film. The last 30 minutes, it basically is, we need do thing here, let's go here, do thing here. And it just, it rushes. So for, for example, all of that cool action, like, that you see in the trailers with the demon coming through, like, just wrecking London, like, walking through the London Bridge, all of that, that is in the last maybe 10 to 15 minutes of the actual film, not including the credits. So maybe about 30 minutes, last 30 minutes of the film. And it's on screen for a total of, at most, two of those minutes. The entire climax taking about five. Which is bullshit! It was very frustrating to me because I came in for a fun action adventure, kill demons with giant swords film, and I got not that. Um, the second problem that I have is the CGI, because... None of it is complete. It all looks like a damn cartoon. The effects do not look real. I mean, the practical ones look fine. Actually, when you mix practical with CG, it's some of my favorite shit. And that actually looks good. Especially some of the characters when they're just supposed to be smaller versions. They actually look good. But then you have shit like the giants that don't look realistic at all. Almost none of the demons that come out in the end of the fucking movie barely look realistic. The same thing with hell. It looks like a computer graphic put on top of a damn thing. Almost every other effect looks like it is from a computer. It doesn't look real. <sighs> it's like they took the budget for the movie and then they like finished filming it and were like, oh shit, we used all of our budget for this. Well, hi, the cheapest CGI artist we can get. Make it look like it could exist in the same space, but don't actually try hard to make it look like it's real. And that bothers me on multiple levels. Biggest one being, why not hire someone who would make it look like it's a full world? God, just make it a cartoon if you're going to go that route. Anyway, there are character interactions I don't really like. Probably the biggest one being Hellway and his dad. Like, Ian McShane plays his part well enough, and the guy from Stranger Things, whose name I can't pronounce the last name of, he plays Hellboy well, and Ian McShane plays what is supposed to be Hellboy's dad well, but Ian McShane does not play the Hellboy's father that I know, the like, caring, knowing mentor. He plays kind of a douche. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I mean, what it is, he does the part that he's doing well, but it doesn't feel right for Hellboy, in my opinion. I don't know, that was just me. Uh, if you watch the movie and you have a different opinion, by all means, go ahead and tell me down below. Overall, Hellboy is an entertaining film. It's fun to watch. If you just want to go and have a good, fun, entertaining, let's murder demons with other demons, then you're going to have a fun time if you just go and look at it as a gory... R-rated B movie, but if you're looking for something that is like the comics, you're probably not going to have the best of times. Um, yeah, so that's all for this review. Um, if you guys liked it, uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want, uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of the video so I can improve these things in the future. And as always, uh, that's it for now, guys. Peace out.